If you take a hard look at the world today, you'll realize that lines are drawn all over it. Lines that divide, lines that limit, lines that underscore differences in race, religion, nationality, and allegiance. In fact, we don't need to look very far to see that we're faced with a need to blur, if not erase, those lines. Right here in the Philippines, we must learn to be united as a people, to face the problems of the present and create the opportunities of the future. There is no doubt that we can succeed in achieving our dream of building a progressive and cohesive nation. But the first step is to join together as one united community. Our line of sight must go beyond our own personal borders. Like it or not, we're part of a greater community. Its vision must be shared by each and every one of us. For the past 169 years, Ayala Corporation has been driven by a common vision shared by its shareholders, employees, business partners, customers, and the communities we serve. Guided by the principles of responsible stewardship, we have earned the trust and support of our various stakeholders and propel the company forward through even the most trying times. This kind of common vision is what we need to bring the Philippines forward. We have everything to gain by working together. I grew up in the country, made some success uh, outside of the Philippines. It's just time for me to give something back to the community as well as to the country. I witness Mangyan segregated, discriminated, and taken advantage of. This motivated me to be a lawyer, to attend to the needs of my fellow Mangyans, to make a difference in our society. The tendency of a lot of people right now is um, to seek better opportunities in places other than the Philippines. I believe that my contribution should be within the country. We should be thinking of the welfare not only of ourselves but of the others. Otherwise, we become a liability. We are all pilgrims here. And therefore, while we are still healthy and strong, we should use all our energies to help others. It's so important to, to see the bright side of things, see the positive things that our country can look forward to, rather than allowing the everyday um, negative things to affect us. A great deal of the future is still something we can shape something we can mold. I just can't allow myself a bleak future. I can't allow a bleak future for the ones I love. I think we need Filipinos who, are, who have a sense of personal responsibility. We cannot continue blaming um, or putting the responsibility on the hands of our leaders. Ang inahanap ko leader sa bayan ay yung may takot sa Diyos, mapagmahal sa kapwa. The leader who has an iron hand, but with an iron heart. With a sense of integrity that runs deep, somebody courageous, somebody who inspires, somebody who can make us think that there is something more to life than the daily grind of it. There's so much that, that we Filipinos are so good at. There are a lot of really sort of interesting things that make us different. The good Filipino is one who celebrates that uniqueness. I truly believe in, in the capability of the Filipino moving forward and being able to cope with adversity. This is where I believe that uh, the Filipino shines the most is during these times of adversity. We aren't just stakeholders of Ayala Corporation. We're ultimately stakeholders of a much larger community, our nation. We are all dependent on this country for our future and that of our children. After all, it is home to our families, our jobs, our history, our culture, our whole way of life. If we truly want to build the Philippines peacefully and productively, we need to blur the lines of self-interest that separate us and focus on a common vision shared by all Filipinos. At Ayala, we are committed not only to the future of our stakeholders, but to that of the entire nation.